Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids. And today's video is going to be all about Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 5. So today I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview and flip through of Level 5 from Apologia. And I feel like this math curriculum, I've mentioned it before, I don't feel like there's a lot of video content out there for it. And so I thought it would be really helpful if I shared with you the two levels that we have. I've already done a video on level one. So if you have a first grader, I will link that video up above for you to go check out. Right now, level five is the highest level that Apologia offers. However, level six is in the works and should be out next year. What's really cool about Apologia's math is that they have a high emphasis and focus on relating mathematics to the world and specifically to creation and how the world has been created in a mathematical way and it really helps to tie in that so your children can understand the mathematics is like a natural thing. They do a really good job at that in each unit. They have like a little kind of uh, it's kind of like a story in it kind of has like an explanation and how math relates to the world and how math relates to God and our creator and so that's pretty cool. So every lesson in the math there's a four step kind of progression. Um, the first one being an activity or a problem to solve. The second being like a pictorial representation of the math concept with like pictures and examples. Then they go into more of the abstract lesson and then application. And it's very consistent with every single lesson. Almost every single lesson begins with an activity or a game and it's super simple. It's not anything super complicated very, very fun. Um, and I love that hands-on aspect for my children. Both of my kids love doing hands-on things like that. So I'm excited to use that with them. I think they're going to really like that. And I feel like it also helps kind of show their math knowledge in a new way. Level five students will learn about whole numbers, fractions, decimals, geometry, and measurement, percents, and graphing. The other thing that's really awesome about Apologia's math is that they kind of have correlated the science curriculum with the level of math. So for example, for level five, it's all about anatomy. And so if you were to purchase Apologia's anatomy science course, it would kind of tie in with the math. And so all throughout the math level, there are like pictures of little animals and some facts about them. And it's pretty cool. And it's got like an animal theme throughout the entire curriculum. One of the biggest things that I love too about this curriculum is that at the end of each unit, there's a unit project. And so this is where your student can do something super fun, super creative and hands-on that applies the math that they learned in some way and really makes math kind of come alive, I feel like, for children. When you, when you give them a project that is a mathematical project that they can get their hands on and actually do and accomplish, I feel like, it, definitely makes math click more for like real life application and I love that so much. Apologia's Math is a mastery program but it also has spiral review spread throughout. So it's not just mastery, there's definitely a little bit of a spiral component to it, but it's not an overly spiraled curriculum by any means. And that is the kind of curriculum that I love. I love the consistency of progression with mastery approach with a little bit of review in there so that our kids who can be very forgetful do not forget previous concepts. So now I'm gonna show you the inside of both the teacher's guide and the student book so you can get a good look at what's included all throughout the books. So let's get into that. So starting off with the teaching guide and answer key, you'll have your table of contents where it will break down the content that will be covered in the book, as well as a week by week daily schedule, which is super helpful for planning purposes. The introduction and the skills overview are very important pages to read. And then it gets into the first unit and it will list the supplies by chapter that will be needed, which is helpful. And then it will get into some notes about each lesson. It'll show you the activities they'll be working on, as well as copies of each student worksheet page with the answers. In 
the back of the teacher guide, there are activity pages and game boards and different things used for different lessons. You can either take them right out of the back of the book or you can go on Apologia's website and print them off separately. There is also a complete supply list in the back of the book for the whole program. Getting into the student book, you have the table of contents again with everything broken down by what you'll be covering. And then it gets into how to use the curriculum. So there are little pictures that represent different things in the lesson. So like an activity or something like that. There's usually a unit story that relates creation to mathematics, and then it will get into the first chapter in the first lesson. So first you'll start with an activity, and then it will move into the actual lesson. And then after the lesson, there will be some application. And I don't find that the application part of it is overwhelming by any means. It's very simple, short and sweet. And again, this is kind of how each lesson goes. Activity, lesson, application. So here's an example of an end of the unit project. This is a clue game that they're gonna be creating with all the possible suspects and kind of problem solving, deductive reasoning and all that. So that's pretty fun. And here's another example of a project making a balloon car, which is looks like so much fun. you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful this look inside and kind of flip through of apologies exploring creation with mathematics level five if you're interested in this curriculum i will leave apologies website down below so you can take a closer look at it i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon